Hey guys, it's Derek Z. Welcome back to another video regarding the rotator cuff repairs. In this video, I'll be covering timeline for weeks four to six and what's gonna be happening in this timeline. In this phase of rehab, the majority of the exercises are gonna be the same with a little bit of progression towards strengthening. The goal in this phase of rehab is to protect your surgical repair, manage your pain, reduce swelling as much as possible, and maintain the range of motion that you already have in your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand. In this phase of rehab, there's gonna be a little bit of progression towards active assisted range of motion, meaning the shoulder can move, but only with assistance from the other arm. For range of motion limitations, we're still limiting external rotation to about 20 degrees and forward shoulder flexion to about 90 degrees. We want to maintain that mainly to protect the surgical repair. For exercise progression, you're going to be doing all the exercises from the previous video, which is phase one, and then there's going to be some new ones along the way to help with active assisted range of motion. For the sling, you're very likely to still be using it most surgeons discharge the sling at the end of week six or between the four to six week timeline, but usually at week six is when I start seeing people stop using the sling. So ask your surgeon the specific details of when they want you to stop wearing the sling. Pulleys is a nice way to perform active assisted range of motion for the surgical side. So let's just say the right side is the side that we're working on. This is the pulley system. This is something that we just got off of Amazon. Um, and you can just clip this over the top of your door and then close it. And then you'll be able to set up a pulley system. I'll um, provide a link in the description below for this. Um, so when you're doing this in terms of the pulleys, you're just grabbing on with the right and then your left is doing the majority of the work. So you're pulling down because it's a pulley. Your right one is going up just to be about a little bit about 90 degrees or to your tolerance. Hold it for about 10 seconds and then you just relax. Just let the right one go for the ride and the left one does the majority of the work. 10 second hold and then relax. And I usually have my folks do 10 of these. Shoulder flexion with a cane is the next one that provides active assisted. So this is a nice one. Um, the concept here is similar to the pulleys. You grab on with the right and then you just use the left to bring the arm up to about 90 degrees or so or to whatever you can tolerate. 10 second hold and then you relax and let the arm come back down and then you repeat for 10 again. So again bringing it up about 10 second hold up at the top and then you bring that back down and then you repeat for 10. Remember your left one is doing all the work and your right one is just going for the ride. Active assisted shoulder flexion is the next exercise. This is a nice one to start with some activation of the muscles around the shoulder with the assist from the other side. So shoulder flexion is essentially what we're doing. That's the exercise, but you're just helping it with the left arm. So we're just bringing this up just like that. I would say probably about 60, 40. So 60 with the left and then 40% effort with the right arm. So you're moving, you're moving it, but you're assisting with the left side. You don't need to hold this at the top. It's more so just motion. So 10 is typically what I have people go for and then bring it back down. Shoulder blade squeezes on the physio ball is the next exercise. This is a nice one and almost a little bit of a progression from the phase one, because in phase one, we did it standing. So we involve gravity a little bit. We're not really engaging or activating the rotator cuff or what's repaired here. We're mainly working on the scapular muscles. So in this position, we're just resting on the ball here, and then we're just squeezing our shoulder blades back and then bringing it down. Hold it for 10 seconds and then we relax. Squeeze back and then bring it down. 10 second hold and I typically just have my folks repeat for 10. 
The last exercise is a shoulder blade squeeze with shoulder extension. So the exercise is very similar to the previous one. You're still doing this with a ball in a similar position as the previous exercise. What you're gonna do is squeeze the shoulder blade, bring it in and down, hold that, and then lift your arm backwards just to neutral. This is just working on the shoulder blade muscles in the back, not really engaging the rotator cuff here, and then you're just relaxing from there. Shoulder blade squeeze, and then bring it up. 10 second holds, and then you're bringing back back down. 10 of reps is typically what I have my folks do. So if you don't have a physio ball, what you can essentially do is just lay on your stomach and just perform it that way. Um, the exercises are a little bit harder when you do that because now it's completely against gravity versus being on an incline, but it should be okay as long as it does not produce pain. This is it for weeks four to six of the rehab process for phase two. The focus is still to help protect the repair and reduce swelling, reduce pain, and maintain range of motion. In my next video, I'll go over weeks seven to eight and the changes in the rehab process associated with that. So please stay tuned for that upcoming video. If you haven't seen the introductory video regarding the first initial phase, I'll leave that in the description below for you to go back and watch that. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.